where he could stay if he wanted to, but he decided to come home. Um, that the kid went abroad specifically to play tennis and improve his tennis. I also asked if these other kids went to the U.S. not for tennis, just to look around and came back. He said, that's also good. Yeah. That's not bad. That's also good. And that this is important, that the kid has real talent and potential. So they won tournaments here. They have a ranking here. What's that ranking? They went to Japan to play tournaments. Maybe a newspaper article was written about them. So get a friend to write a newspaper article. Okay. And then um, that he has significant social, familial, and economic connections to China. So a lot of friends and teachers and whatever here. Mm -hmm. Families here, like parents are here. And then the economic um, connections, that's already covered, he thinks, because they're sponsored by Bubei and Beijing, right. I mean, so the, they're paid, they everything's paid yeah. for. Okay. And then, so then, and then here, I asked him about your question about what about professional players. He said, well, well, there's either they're like, either they're just they just want to play. They're not that. They're not professional status like the you know, long So he thinks maybe they need to go to a tennis academy, like Nick Volatari in Florida, and then they would get it. They would be in China on student. I mean, they'd be in the on student visa to play tennis while they're while they're studying. Uh, or if he doesn't play tennis, if he must be a professional level player, then you need like a very uh, official American organization to sponsor him, like the USCA. And that, in that case, you get a key visa. But you need a like a really big, well-known. Okay.